Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass. Now I love stock Android, especially here on my Nexus 5, but actually what you're looking at isn't stock Android. Let me explain. Okay guys, so what you are now looking at is definitely stock Android. And you can tell that with a swipe over to the left hand side, it gets me straight into Google now. As far as I'm aware, there's no launchers that have this kind of capability. Action Launcher 3 can do it, however it's not as smooth a motion as this. It basically just fades in. So what you're seeing now is stock Android 5.0.1 running on my Nexus 5. Now to get the stock Android that I showed you a second ago, you can actually do on any Android device. Now the great thing about this is if you've got something like a Samsung device or an HTC device which have their own custom skin over the top, it allows you to get a really nice stock Android experience with very little steps. I'm going to put some links in the description down below to a previous Nova Launcher how-to video that I've done and also a video on how to make the original HTC One M7 look like stock Android. Now you can have a look over those because that's the standard version of Nova Nova Launcher, but what we're going to be looking at today is the beta for Nova Launcher, which is a brand new material design. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and downloaded the Nova Launcher Prime application, as this does work perfectly fine with the beta. What you then need to do is head over to Google Plus and go to the Nova Launcher beta community. Now this community posts a lot of things about Nova Launcher in terms of new releases, changes, any issues that there are, and it's definitely a great community to be part of. Once you've become a community member, you'll see there's an arrow just below the settings button here. You can click on that and it gives you all the information you need to be able to download the beta itself. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now off camera and I'll be back in just a second. And once you've done that, you're pretty much ready to go. As you can see, it's downloaded the Nova Launcher beta. If I just head into the applications drawer here, you can see that it actually looks completely different in terms of the icon compared to the Nova Launcher Prime icon. It's very flat, very minimal, and definitely something that looks very stock Android and just in general fits in with Google's new material design. Once you actually click on the icon, you're pretty much done. As you can see here, it says, this is an unfinished pre-release software. There will be bugs. Please politely report issues you find. So basically what this is saying is it's not yet finished. And if there are any issues, it's not to say that you need to go and slam the people that make Nova Launcher and say that it's a bad launcher. Things aren't working. It is a beta. So there are bound to be a couple of bugs. Some of which I found is very simple things. Like if one of you tap and hold on an icon to uninstall it, it sometimes doesn't recognize the tap and I have to try a couple of times but apart from that it's been very stable for my use so what we need to do is click on got it and as you can see it's pretty much set it up as stock android already you've got the card app tray just here and also you've got the animations from the stock google launcher now when you press the home button as you can see here it's taking me back into stock android so what you actually need to do is head over to your settings of your device find a section that's going to say home and then all you need to do is select nova launcher then when you press the home button it's going to default back to nova launcher automatically. Now there are however a couple of things that you need to tweak. As you can see the icons themselves do look a little bit small compared to normal stock Android and there are a couple of things like some animations and things that you will need to change. So if you tap and hold on the screen you'll be greeted with a very familiar screen you're going to find in stock Android. However with this one it allows you to add or take away home pages. So you can tap and hold on a home page, drag it up and it will be deleted. And again you can do that for as many home pages as you need to do. Or you can add home pages again by swiping over to the right hand side. You've also got the option here to change the wallpaper and the widgets. If you click on the settings, it doesn't go into the settings of Android, it goes into the settings of the brand new material design Nova Launcher. Now in terms of the settings themselves, they're pretty similar to what you find on standard Nova Launcher. You've got things to adjust the desktop, you've got app and widget drawers, dock, folders, look and feels. This is where you can add things like icon packs if you need to, gestures and inputs, unread count badges, which you are going to need the prime version for, and also backup and import these settings. You've also got the option here to check for updates for Nova Launcher Prime, which again you can do from within the application, set it as your default launcher, which we've already done, and also say thanks by leaving a comment or a rating on the Google Play Store. Now one thing that I love about the new Nova Launcher material design is when you change the size of icons in the app drawer and also the desktop and in the dock it's all done completely separate so if you head into the desktop settings you can see you've got the icon layout for the size and label and again you've got a slider here to adjust the size so again you can see a very nice visual of exactly how it's going to look now i found that the best way to do it is to go to around 115 percent as it gives a very nice stock experience and looks pretty much like stock android would with the google now launcher 
When you then go into app and widget drawer, again, you need to go into the icon layout and again, change the size of the icons to about 115%. And what I would also do is change the color of the text. The text at the moment is black, whereas in stock Android, it's more of a gray color, which we've got just here. I wouldn't go for the light gray. I'd go for the slightly darker one right next to black. And again, you can see here then that it looks very stock indeed. Now then what you need to do is go into the dock and again do the same thing, so icon layout for the size. You can see here that they're at 80% so they do look extremely small at the moment. So again just put that up to 115% and again you don't really need to worry about the labels or anything as the icons in the dock don't actually have labels on them at all. One other thing that you are going to have to change is in the app and widget drawer, you will have to change the transition animation as obviously with stock Android, it goes up from the actual applications button. So if you select circle, you can see the animation there, it changes it to go up in a circle. So again, it's going to look just like stock Android. And to be honest, guys, that's pretty much all you need to do with the newest version of Nova Launcher. As you can see now, when I go back to my home screen, go into my app drawer, it looks just like stock Android. And again, you can see you've got that nice animation there for the app tray that comes up. So again, everything looks extremely good. Now, one reason why you may want Nova Launcher is just for the added customizability. Now, one thing that I like about the new version of Nova Launcher with Material Design is it gives you the 5.0 look and feel of Android, but you can also do things like change your icon packs, change grid sizes, add multiple widgets by overlapping them, plus loads more. Like I say, in the link in the description down below is my past video in terms of how to actually use Nova Launcher. So if you want to get a bit more in depth in terms of how to actually use the widgets and just in general the launcher, it will be linked in the description down below. One thing that I would say is a bit of a disappointment is obviously you do lose the feature to get to Google now with a swipe over from the left hand side. Now you can still access it by pressing on the home button and swiping up, but it's just maybe slightly more inconvenient than just swiping across straight away on the home screen as it's something that I do quite a lot as I'm quite a heavy user of Google now. Using Google now gives a lot of information for news and stories that I've been searching for or following and also things like traffic updates and weather it's definitely handy to have it from a swipe in from the left as opposed to swiping up from the bottom but it's not really that big a problem and that is pretty much going to do it guys if you've got any questions at all about the newest nova launcher beta with material design be sure to leave them in the comment section down below and if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up if you want to get some more great content don't forget to subscribe i'm michael from copper versus glass Thanks very much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.